All right, welcome back. In the previous video, we went through the GNS3 installation, got that all set up. In this video, we we're going to be working through GNS3 VMware uh, and installing that in VirtualBox. So as you can see, we got GNS3 going here. Um, we also have VirtualBox going. I'm not gonna go through the whole installation of this. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just download it, install it, and it's pretty much will give you the screen. Um, but to actually get GNS3 VMware uh, in here, first we need to download it. So you can go to GNS3 uh, site first. You go here, we can just go to free download. Uh, there, here at the very bottom, it says for optional performance, uh, this download GNS3 VMware, this is what we actually need to download. So we're gonna click on that and then just hit for virtual box, click download. I already have that downloaded, so I'm not gonna do it, but you're going to be given a zip drive so, or a zip file. So you're gonna take that zip file, unzip it, and then you're gonna have this GNS3 uh, VM virtual box uh, folder. In there is actually what we're gonna use uh, to import in uh, to virtual box. So if we go back into virtual box, we can go up and hit uh, file and then import appliance. And we're gonna locate that file. that OVA, hit next. Um, you can change these settings you can keep them as it is, but I always like bumping them up a little bit just since I know my computer is a little bit beefier and can handle it. If you're running a lot of different VMs, you might want to bump this up accordingly. Um, a lot of the switches that I run, they, they need at least uh, two gigs of RAM and at least one CPU. So if I'm running two switches, you know, I'm at least going to need one CPU and four gigs of RAM. So we click next and it'll start importing. Okay, so it is good to go. So we're gonna power this thing on. There's a couple caveats uh, inside here. So we need to make sure we have a couple settings set up correctly. So one of the very first ones you're gonna get is this, uh, this interface could not be set up. This is pretty normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and actually change our network settings uh, to make this uh, function. So we got this failed message here for our network. So let's go into our settings and uh, change a couple things and hopefully get this to go. So in your systems under processor, one of the first things that you'll have to do is you're going to have to enable this nested VTX AMDV. Make sure that that is checked. Let's give this a restart. Let's see what we can get. Perfect, there we go. Okay. So you're gonna be get, get the uh, IP address. Um, another thing to keep in mind here is this KVM support available true. That box that we clicked, um, before in our settings, if it's if that setting is false, let me go back there quick. Under system and processor, if this enable nested is unchecked, you're gonna get an error. So make sure that that's checked. That way you can get into, uh, or that way this KVM supported uh, is is true. Once that's going, we can go over to GNS3 and set that up. So once you're in GNS3, go to Edit, Preferences, and then we're going to go to GNS3 VMware. We're going to make sure this is checked, and then we're going to make sure VirtualBox is checked, and then Refresh. Your VM should pop up here, um, but if it doesn't, just hit Refresh and it should pop up. Uh, GNS3 VMware, that is our VMware that's running. Let's hit apply and next. So we might have to close this out. Oh, nope, it popped up. 
Sometimes you'll have to close out of GNS3 uh, and start it again before this will go. But this populated up, everything looks like it's okay. Um, one caveat that I will say is sometimes you have to go into your BIOS of your actual computer uh, and enable virtualization on your CPU. Um, some motherboards do not have that actually enabled right off the bat, so you got to go in and change that. Uh, that was one thing that I did have to do a long time ago uh, on this machine here. Um, I have a couple laptops that I have uh, VirtualBox running on, and I did not have to change anything in the BIOS. It was able to just start working right off the bat. So. If you do get an error, that might be one thing to check is the virtualization within your BIOS for your motherboard. We should be good to go now. The next video that we will have will be how to install Aruba CX um, in GNS3 using VirtualBox. So if you like this video, if it's been helping you out, please give it a like and a follow. Uh, I'll try to make more of these videos uh, and actually get into more of the switch configs later on. Thank you.